The Lakers receive their championship rings before the game. Opening night, they're going to take on the Clippers. The battle for LA continues into another season. And just like last year, the Clippers come out and they're hot. They start blowing out the Lakers, but guess what? They're going to blow the lead at halftime. Lakers are going to come back down 20 plus, but then the Clippers go on another run to win the game. But very interesting, the starting lineup for the Clippers is very good. It's like a death lineup because their defense, they can basically just switch everything. The Clippers are a team that's built, custom built, to play against the Lakers. They always show up when the Lakers are in town. The problem for them is last year, they never got the matchup against the Lakers. You got to be able to beat everybody else. But now they're going to be able to go up against the Nuggets. It doesn't matter who, because with this new lineup of Serge Ibaka, Batum, Patrick Beverly, Kawhi Leonard, Paul George, that death lineup is very good defensively. Everything is a switch. Long arms everywhere. Batum only had one basket in this game, but if you were watching a game, he was playing tremendous defense. He was even pushing the ball in transition. He had six assists. Kawhi scored 26 points. Paul George, Pandemic P. He lit up the Lakers for 33 tonight. He was five of eight from downtown. For the Lakers, LeBron James, he had an okay game. It wasn't bad, 22 points. Anthony Davis had 18 points. It was interesting because the Clippers double teamed Anthony Davis every time he caught the ball in the post. So now that the Lakers know that, the next time they play, they're going to have a better strategy. They're going to move players around. They're going to do much better next time. Interesting strategy from the Clippers. Everybody was rotating hard. They were playing really hard tonight. Look at Paul George getting to the basket. He wasn't just popping a bunch of threes. He was literally running whoever offense. They couldn't guard him. That's a problem because you have to worry about Kawhi. And then if Paul George is going to have a good game. Who's going to cover Paul George? Because you're probably going to put your best defender, your best wing defender on Kawhi. So now what happens? Look at Paul George, the step back three. There's no way that Kuzma, there's no way that Caldwell, Pope, or Wes Matthews, they're just too short. They're just not, it's not a good matchup. So this is going to be very interesting. And look at Kawhi with the shot clock cheese fade away. No reason to panic. For the Lakers, they just won a championship. They came out a little flat. I wouldn't be too worried about that. Yo, the tornado spin got him to spin and fall. Oh, oh my goodness. We're going way over the ankle breaker and even the splash quota tonight. This shouldn't be allowed. This should be a crime.